peace. This is King Noble, Black Supremacy. I want to do this particular video addressing Shaka Upmost finally dealing with his debate against the Hebrew Israelites and his challenge to the Hebrew Israelites. He put a video out on House of Consciousness, Black News 102, dealing with the homo gender relations in the Bible. He's basically talking about homosexuality in the Bible. A lot of his dissertation that I've seen so far, and I haven't made it through all of it, is dealing with homosexuality pre-existing the Bible, dealing with the writers of the Bible, authors and those who had something to do with how the Bible was edited or put together or prepared. A lot of his dissertation has covered that. However, it's been a very thorough and very uh, eloquent dissertation. I must give him credit for the research and scholarship that he presents with this information. However, the Hebrews are still not on trial. Kemet is on trial. And versus him attacking the Hebrew Israelites or exposing homosexuality in the Bible as it deals with the Hebrew Israelites, it's not dealing with the fact of the challenge of homosexuality in Kemet. So I must say, Shaka utmost, that this is a deflection as well. Because versus them dealing with the reality of homosexuality in Kemet, in Egypt, he would do a almost three hour dissertation. I think this is his second video dealing with homosexuality in Egypt and this is really just part one. So, so far he has five hours, I want to say if I'm correct, of footage dealing with homosexuality in the Bible. And it's just part one plus another video that he put up that I can't quite remember the title of it. He has not yet put up an hour or even 30 minutes, or even 15 minutes, dealing with homosexuality in Kemet, when Kemet is on trial for homosexuality, homosexual allegations, dealing with the Medu Neter and the Glyphs. He's yet to put up any length of amount of time or footage or him impolite to address homosexuality in Kemet. The argument that he's trying to, what he's trying to use as a deflection, his argument is, well, there was homosexual, homosexuality in the Bible, or not even in the Bible, but pre, the pre-existence of the Bible, the writers, the scribes, the translators, a lot of them were homosexuals or had homosexual relationships or affairs. It's, to me, this is what he's trying to say. So by doing that, does that validate or justify homosexuality in Kemet, if, even if such is the case dealing with the Bible. Does that validate or justify homosexuality in Kemet? Versus him defending the integrity of Kemet by addressing the allegations of homosexuality, he, at, he attempts to justify or validate it by saying that homosexuality exists in the Bible or before the Bible. That doesn't justify it. They don't want to address the fact of homosexuality really dealing, being in Kemet or Egypt. They don't really want to deal with that. They want to deflect from that. So Kemet, really, what the Kemet community is doing is just trying to flip the trial and put it on the Hebrews and really make the Hebrews defend themselves again and really attack the Bible and, and challenge the Bible, which is all oh, it's already been done. But they want to do that over again in order to deflect off addressing homosexuality in Kemet. I want to tell you why they won't address homosexuality in Kemet and why they've yet to address it. And they've done long dissertations addressing homosexuality in the Bible, but they won't address it in Kemet. Because Homosexuality existed in Kemet 
and they cannot argue that. There was homosexuality in Egypt, there was homosexuality in Kemet. There's clearly homosexual acts on the glyphs. You can see them for yourself. I mean, this is unarguable. It's clear. Anybody can see them. Whether you see it as metaphorical or whatever, they, they exist there. And I can tell you why homosexuality existed in Egypt and in Kemet. And a part of the reason for that is because Christianity did not exist in Egypt or Kemet. The Ku Klux Klan movement, the, the hating of homosexuals and, and, and the hating of gays, which is Eurocentric. Hatred uh, is Eurocentric in and of itself uh, because it is, it is unintelligent. It is primitive. It is, it is unevolved to, be, to have hatred for anybody, to, to walk around with hatred for people because of their preferences and their decisions and what they do that's different from you to have hatred for them for people that is a Eurocentric idea that is not an African idea so there was where there was homosexuality in Egypt and Kemet there was no KKK movement there was no white supremacist movement we hate fags we hate Jews we hate this there was not a white hatred movement in Kemet or in Egypt and wherever you find the absence of white hatred you will find a plethora of cultures and cultural ideas and cultural formations and different expressions and ways of life you'll find a very creative uh, mixture of different cultural ideas and practices where with the absence of white hatred the rigid left left brained uh, stagnant mind of the Europe euro invader of the white supremacists he brought that uh, the uh, rigid, self-hating, humanitarian-hating, hatred ideology or, or pathology to the world. The white man brought that. So since he was not there in the ancient times in Kemet, there was no one body there to hate homosexuals and have hatred towards uh, people because of the different ideas and choices that they made. So of course there was homosexuality in Kemet, uh, as well as a lot of other uh, different ideas than what we see today. That's a fact. But he's not going to argue that because he doesn't want to address or deal with that because he's just as much of a Hebrew, uh, white supremacist, Christian minded individual as the Hebrew is. And I didn't even know I was about to go in, that's, go in that deep. But he's, he's the same as them. That's why he has a problem with. Uh, admitting or accepting the fact that homosexuality exists because he's just as much as a Hebrew or Euro Christian or Euro Judaic uh, uh, minded individual as they are. That's why he's upset or, or, or he's bothered by them uh, pointing out homosexuality in Egypt because he's, he's thinking just like they are. You know, they hate homosexuals and hate homosexuality and hate people uh, with different cultures and different ideas and different perceptions and perceptual framework and different ways of expression. That's what Christianity is about. It's, it's, it's an invasive culture it's a, it, that wants to dominate and force everybody into its rigid paradigm and bow down to that great white God. That's the purpose of Christianity, to force everybody into one, you know, uh, one, one, one white way of life that ultimately adds up to white is right. So he, he's, he has the same mentality that they do. He has a, he, he's, he's centered in the same type of mentality. So he's really just a, a he's practicing Kemishianity, you know, which is a, a Christian Egypt. It's, it's a mixture of Christianity and uh, Egyptian culture or Kemetic culture where they make Kemet or Egypt fit into a Christian paradigm where they have commandments and all these laws and you have the resurrection story and of, of just like Jesus Christ and this this super self righteousness imposed on ancient Kemet, uh, it, it's he's practicing Kemetianity or Kemetic Christianity anyway. That's all it is. You know, that's why they say that the Bible was plagiarized from Egypt because their concept of Kemet is consistent with biblical theology or biblical theological perspective. When they look at Kemet, they see Christianity. And what they find that is non-Christian bothers them as Kemetians just as much as it bothers those who are, are Euro-Christians or those who are under uh, European Christianity. 
So that's why he's not going to address Christianity. That's why he's not going to address uh, homosexuality in Egypt. And he's going to continue to deflect by exposing homosexuality in the Bible or in the behavior of the pre-existing scholars and writings of the Bibles. Because he knows himself, being a scholar and being someone as intelligent as he is, someone who has studied Egypt and Kemet, that is very well versed and literate, he knows himself that homosexuality did exist in Kemet and Egypt and on the glyphs, but the, the white supremacist influence Judo Euro Christian uh, in him does not want to accept that because they have Eurocentrized Egypt and Kemet and made it fit modern day uh, Protestant Christian values of white supremacy. I don't want to go too much further with this video, um, but I, I just had to touch on that. Uh, not to take away from the discourse of which he put forth. I think the information there was, was very powerful, very, put together very powerfully, and I think he went deeper into Christian history uh, more than most. Um, it was a, a crash course uh, in theological history dealing with Christianity, and, I th I, and I, I, that's very appreciated. But the point is, is that Kemet is on trial. And if we're dealing with homosexuality in Egypt, realistically, uh, they've already lost that case. This is King Noble, Black Supremacy. Join my website, www.kingnobleblackrulership.com.